this is Chris the Nightmare Ariola and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So somebody sent me this article. It was released yesterday. It's my first time seeing it uh, this morning. David Hayes says, I'm working on my next fight, something to excite fans. All right, now this is courtesy of uh, BoxingScene.com. I'm going to go ahead and read what uh, David Hay had to say, and I'm going to give my opinion about all this. Um, it's on Boxing Scene, and he told this to the mirror, okay? So he says, I'm working on my next fight. I want it to be a substantial fight, a fight that gets people excited. It's a good time to be in the heavyweight division in the UK. You got Anthony Joshua, who has a world title. Tyson Fury as well. It's a real healthy environment for heavyweight boxing at the moment. We're split for choice. Lennox Lewis was the only British heavyweight champion at the time he was champion. So was Frank Bruno. Then he goes on to say, uh, now we got two current heavyweight champions, possibly three, if I get a world title fight. It's a situation that's never happened before. I believe within a year, I'll have a version of a title, whether that's against Anthony Joshua, against the winner of Tyson Fury's rematch with Vladimir Klitschko, or against Deontay Wilder. I'm focusing on the British side of things at the moment, but in boxing, anything can happen, he said. All right. It's funny that uh, he said the winner of the rematch of Klitschko versus Fury. Um, you know, he's already fought. He's already fought uh, Klitschko and, and he lost. And it took him hell and hot water to get in there with him. And then we know the Fury fights. He uh, pulled out of both of those fights. But it's a new year. It's a new day. That was the past. You know, I'm not going to get too much on about anything that happened in the past. But now we know that a fight with shannon briggs was supposed to be next he told briggs well let's rewind okay briggs <laughs> invaded his press conference with arnold jarek jai when that fight took place all right um he invaded the press conference with the let's go champ and you know shannon briggs doing his usual thing then david hayes said hey man you fight on my undercard i'll fight you so shannon briggs did went out to the uk met with the right people did what he had to do Voila, he was on David Hayes' undercard. I believe he fought Zarati, a guy named Zarati. He was trying to get Alexander Demetrenko, but uh, that fell through, and then he ended up getting Zarati, knocked him out, all right? So since then, I thought it was pretty much supposed to be Shannon Briggs versus uh, David Hay. Now, last week, or was it last week or two weeks ago, David Hay and Shannon Briggs were both at the Barclays for a fight. And um, Shannon Briggs was chasing him down, you know, saying, let's go champ. David Hay trying to yell his name and, you know, try to do what he does. And David Hay just kept walking. He just kept going. And this time they're in Shannon Briggs hometown. Shannon Briggs is from Brooklyn, New York. So it was weird that Hay didn't stop at least to sell the fight. He didn't have to get into an argument with Briggs, but at least try to sell the fight. Their supposed fight that's supposed to happen in the U.K., but he just kept walking. He didn't pay Shannon Briggs no mind. Now, could he probably not stop because he didn't want to get into a verbal altercation uh, with Shannon Briggs? Because we know Shannon Briggs can talk circles, squares, and triangles around uh, David Hay. Although David Hay can build a fight, you know, with his talking too. But Shannon Briggs on a different level when it comes to that. You know, so I'm not sure what David Hay has up his sleeve, man. As far as reading this article... It makes me think, like, well, are you going to fight Shannon Briggs? Because he didn't even mention Shannon Briggs in his article. And uh, he ignored Shannon Briggs a few weeks ago when they you know, were at the same venue in Brooklyn, New York. So I'm not sure what's going on. Now, we know what this WBA tournament has pretty much gone to shit. And when this tournament first began, I even did a video on it. And I said, man, I don't trust this tournament. I think something's going to happen in this tournament. And uh, since the tournament has started, I mean, the first well, the Klitschko Fury rematch got rescheduled. Okay. Um, Lucas Brown beat Chagayev. Then he got stripped of that title because he tested positive for Clint Buterol. Um, They gave Ch Chagayev back the title. Then they reached out to him. Well, they reinstated him as the WBA regular champion. Then they reached out to Chagayev. The WBA did to inform him he needs to fight his rematch with Fred Zakendo. They reached out to him three different times. He didn't respond. I guess he wants to go ahead and um, retire. Now you have Luis Ortiz. Didn't uh, him and 
Yusinov, that fight doesn't like it's going to take place because uh, Ortiz is trying to find a new promoter. So that's still up in the air. But I thought I'd seen something about some type of purse bid taking place, but I'm not sure. But as I know, that fight is up in there. It won't happen in September. All right. So on the uh, Canelo versus Liam Smith on the car. So it's not taking place then. Then you have Fred Kendo on the other side that had a buy. How did he get a buy? I have no clue how they gave Fred Kendo a buy. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on right now, man. I'm not sure what's going on. But David Hay, he is highly rated, man, by a few of the sanctioning bodies. I'm looking on the uh, the rankings right now on WBA. They have the rankings I'm looking at, which is, is on fightnews.com. And WBO has David Hay number four. The IBF has David Hay number three. The WBA has David Hay number five. And the WBC has David Hay number six. This dude is highly rated by all these sanctioning bodies. Um, now, he's saying this, this next fight is going to excite the fans, excite, you know, <clears throat> well, I hope it isn't Arnold Jarek Jai, although I did videos on Jarek Jai months before the David Hay fight saying that he needs to go to the UK or the USA for a fight. He disappointed me, man. He literally laid down in that fight. And Jarek Jai is a guy who I did prospect videos on like a year ago, way before the David Hay fight was even thought of. Demore, that again, both of those fights go hand in hand. I don't think either guy even punched David Hay, man. Like, to be honest with you, I think he got his glove punched. <laughs> that was it. I don't think Hay even got punched yet since he's been back. Now, some of you may say, oh, it's because the defense is that good. No, man, I don't think nobody even tried to even punch the dude back. So I'm not sure what surprise David Hay has in store. I like to see the Shannon Briggs fight. You know, but I'm trying to, you know, I'm thinking maybe the WBA may throw something together where they're having him fight for the regular WBA title. Maybe they, because he is highly rated by the WBA, maybe they insert him to fight Frez Akendo for that regular title that has now since been vacated, since it got reinstated to Chagayev. Maybe they have him fight for that. I'm not sure. You know, he says he's going to win a version of the heavyweight title within the next year here. So I'm not, but I don't think he's talking about one of these little, uh, interim titles or one of these you know regular titles i think he wants one of the titles that anthony joshua deontay wilder or tyson fury has i don't think he really wants a regular title i hope he didn't say he didn't want it but he didn't mention you know fighting for that title so i'm not sure what the hell david hay is going to do i don't know what he has up his sleeves but the shannon briggs fight just seems like it might not happen just based on he he totally ignored the dude at the barclays man just ignored him as if they don't have a fight coming up Usually, you know, so I but I don't know what David Hay, man. I, I really don't know. Then he's he's highly rated by all these sanctioning bodies, so I'm not sure if he's trying to position himself for a fall fight with Anthony Joshua. Um I'm not sure, man. Maybe Joshua fights him, but Joshua and his team, they haven't mentioned David Hay's name. Only people I've heard them mention uh Berman Stavern. Um, who else did they mention? I know they mentioned Stavern. And Kirbat Pulev, who was also highly rated by the IBF, he's number two. Um, Hayes number three. He's right there, man. So I'm not sure what David Hayes is going to do. I, w I wish I had an answer for it, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I know he's been trying to micromanage Anthony Joshua's career through the media. He's always telling, you know, he's giving his two cents about who Joshua should fight and shouldn't fight because it might mess up their fight. So I'm not sure if he's trying to position himself for a fall fight with Joshua or I'm not sure if he's trying to, you know, get involved with this WBA tournament and possibly fight for that regular WBA title. I don't know. All I do know is it seems like that Briggs fight, it might not happen just based on Hay hasn't even brought his name up shit after the heyday event that happened on the Jerry Jai card. I've, unless you guys can send me some some links of him. I, Talking about Briggs, I haven't even heard Hay mention Briggs since that fight card. You know, so I'm, I'm not sure if they had a contract signed Hay and Briggs, because if that's the case, then most likely the fight will go down unless Briggs, you know, or unless uh, Hay wants to get sued or something. But I don't know, man. It just seems as if Hay doesn't want a Briggs fight. Not so much that he's scared. I just believe he probably feels that, hey, how was fighting Briggs going to get me closer to a title? But in Briggs' case, I mean, he can argue the fact that he is highly rated by the WBA. Briggs is rated number six 
and Hayes rated number five. You know, so according to the WBA, I'm talking about those rankings. So I really don't know what's going on with David Hay, man. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens. But me trying to sit here and figure this shit out, I'll be doing this all day because I really don't know. Then the IBF, I'm trying, well, the WBO, I'm looking, I see David Price is rated number 12, but I wouldn't see why Hay, who's rated number four, would want to fight David Price, who's rated number 12. Last time I heard of Price, he's trying to possibly get a fight with uh, Eric Molina. So. I'm not sure, man. You guys let me know what you think about this. I'm out.